Hello. Today we will look at a fairly easy way to reset a forgotten password in Windows 8 and Windows 10. This is actually a big problem when you cannot open your computer. You are trying to remember your password, but it doesn't work. You can reset your password and come up with a new one, but you haven't created a dedicated password reset flash drive. Do not worry, look carefully, repeat exactly after me, step by step, and we will succeed. And so, first we need to open the command line. For this we restart the computer. And as soon as the system starts to boot, at the first appearance of the Windows logo, we press the button, reset. If you have a laptop, when the Windows logo first appears, press and hold the power button for about 4 seconds until the laptop turns off, and then turn on the laptop again. Continue to force restart your computer or laptop several times until system restore starts and you see a white font on your monitor. The automatic system recovery program has opened. Click here. Then, troubleshoot. Click, advanced options. Now press command prompt. Depending on the configuration of the operating system, the program may ask for your password before opening command prompt. For such a case, I suggest opening the command prompt in a different way. For those who have the command prompt opened, you can skip the second method and go straight to opening the command prompt and making changes in the registry editor. If your system asks for a password to open command prompt, then you need to take an installation USB flash drive or DVD disk Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 10 from any other computer. No matter what version, Windows Home or Pro, any version of Windows will work. Connect this USB flash drive or DVD disk to your computer and restart your computer. Immediately after the start of the reboot, constantly press the key to bring up the boot menu. I press F9, for you it could be F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key. You can see how to call the boot menu in my video, the link is in the description for this video. Find your bootable USB or DVD drive in the boot menu, press, enter. The Windows installation menu has opened, but we will not install anything. We will just press, Shift, and, F10, simultaneously. The command prompt opened immediately. Here write, re-get it, and click, enter. The registry editor has opened. Here you need to click once, key local machine. Click, File, and click, Load Hive. Here we need to find the disk on which the Windows operating system is installed. Above, this is the local C drive, or rather a small directory of it for system files. Disk D is the largest here, and we open it. Yes, there is a Windows folder here, and we open it. Next, find and open the folder, System32. Now we find the folder, config, and click on it. Here you need to find the file, system, and double click on it. In this window, you need to set a name for the created folder, you can choose any name, I will name this folder, 1, 2, 3, 4. Click, OK. Let's open the folder, key local machine. So we created a folder, 1, 2, 3, 4, now open it. Find the folder, setup and click on it. Now find the file on the right, CMD line, and double click on it. In the window that opens, on the second line we write, CMD, EXE. And click, OK. Now double click, set up to pay, and in the line instead of zero, enter the number, two. Click, OK. Then find a folder, 1, 2, 3, 4, and click on it once. Then click, File, and click, Unload Hive. Click, Yes, and close this folder. Close Command Prompt, and click Continue Booting Windows. If you use the second method, 
Close the command prompt. Close the installation menu. Click, yes, the computer will automatically restart. The operating system has started loading. The command line has opened. Here we will write, net, click space bar, user. Click, enter. Now we see our account name, my name, Ip Malik. Now we write, net, press space bar, user. Click the space bar, your account name, I write, Ip Malik. Press space bar, put a sign, an asterisk, for this press on the keyboard, shift and number 8, at the same time, and click, enter. Next. We do not write the password, we have deleted the password, and instead of the password, we have an empty space. Click, enter. Then you need to press again, enter. As a result, the command was successfully completed, now we do not have a password, and the command prompt can be closed. If your name is made up of several separate words, this could be a problem. In this case, try this. Try putting your name between the two hooks, for example, John Smith. In this line write, net, press space bar, user, press space bar, John Smith, press space bar, put an asterisk. Try to enter your name without the space bar in one word, for example, John Smith. Try these different options. We close the command prompt, and to do this, write, exit. We click, enter, and we started to reboot the computer. Pay attention to the time, the whole process took only about 6 minutes. Now we do not enter a password, and we entered our system without any problems. If you have forgotten your password and it is very important for you to unlock your computer, repeat all these steps and you can also reset your password. I hope that what I have just told you was able to help you, and if you found it useful, please share my video with anyone. Write me a comment, I will answer all your questions and try to help you. Thank you very much for your attention to my video. Good luck.